Bada bing, bada boom, here's another binge. So, I have read a lot of late night Tumblr posts from a lot of people. How about we look at some of mine? We changed our name to IHOB. Bet you can't guess what it stands for. Is it breakfast? Take this shot. I want to be the level of wealthy where everything on my music playlist was purchased. No more monthly subscriptions, please. A personality consisting of sarcasm and sick burns. Sassive aggressive. In regards to Steven Universe, did anyone stop to think that Claude could be a racial slur in the gem world since it means a lump of dirt? That would actually be pretty insulting if you were a sentient rock. I'm overthinking this. A lone individual is stranded in the desert. They have no water and are losing their sight of sanity. They see a mirage of an attractive being holding a bottle of water. Their thirst is now doubled. I know this is supposed to be a pun, but it also sounds like if JonTron said protection. You know, protection! If you ask me, your music puns are a little too basic. <laughs> a fair form indeed, but allow me to deliver a counterpoint. While my puns may elude you, they all strive in development, performance, and rhythm is key. To bring glee must be your motive, but you'll need to face a need to refrain if it doesn't phase them. I say to you, I should go to my roots, hone my tune, and come back with puns so great, they alert the staff. A special friend that you fight with casually. Friends with benefits. How to summon the Undertale fandom. Hey bro, check this out. <clears throat> Boy, I sure could use some spaghetti. Did someone call the Italia fandom? How to get Yahoo to kill Tumblr quicker. A sophisticated workout area is not called a gym, but rather it prefers to be called a James. The emotional rock theme party ended in complete disaster. It was a birthday massacre. I have to be careful with my math puns. Trigonometry ones can get pretty graphic. Will science puns ever be not funny? Sodium, sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen. Nah, son! This guy is plotting murder. So, how are you feeling? Eh, a bit of a positive yandere mood. What? You know, die, Shobu. When hobbits smoke, do they get high or medium? Give me one good reason why I should trust you. I've updated our privacy policy. No, Travis, don't. It's super awkward now when family members follow me on social media besides Facebook. You shouldn't see the dark side of my life, Anvil. I have no way to explain Hunky Pop. All right, listen up, you little shits. Not you, Lucio. You're an angel and we're thrilled you're here. You're smiling. Did something good happen? Can't I just smile because I feel like it? Ganji tripped and fell in the parking lot. I don't understand why humans like sleeping so much. It's a free trial of death. Sorry I'm late. What happened? Nothing. I just didn't really want to come. I'm getting married tomorrow. What? And more specifically, to what? At least somebody loves me, you bitter anime character. I'm playing a new drinking game. It's called Every Time I'm Depressed, I Take a Drink. Congratulations on your first Overwatch mission, Hello. The kid's underage. Ah, right! You're a growing girl. Reinhardt, no! Reinhardt, grab all the small ones first! Their tiny legs are useless! Okay, fine, let's all act like humans. Look at me! Boy, do I love sweating! Let's convert beef and leaves into energy and excrete them later and go shopping! Do you guys know where I could get one of those gold necklaces with tea on them? That's a cross. A cross from where? Did you just refer to a knife as a people opener? Sh should I not have? Don't break people's hearts. They only have one. Break their bones, they have plenty of those. What if Cinderella was a baking slave instead of a cleaning slave and her name was Mozzarella? Don't ever text me again. I hope you have a good explanation for this. We have three, actually. Pick your favorite. What's wrong with Wade? He couldn't handle alcohol very well. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence! I love saying fuck me because it can either be sexual or self-loathing, and those are two things that describe me perfectly. Who the fuck- Language? <clears throat> Whom the fuck? I came out to have a good time, and honestly, I'm feeling so attacked right now. I came out to attack people, and I'm honestly having such a good time right now. <sighs> Come on, Peter, I wasn't that drunk. You tried to color my face with a highlighter because you said I was important. That's because you are. <laughs> Goodbyes are so awkward, like, do I go in for a kiss or what? Please just take your food, sir.
This is a mass text. Does anybody know where I am? Name a way to be nice to people. Don't kill them. Setting the bar really low, but I'll allow it. The indigenous species of Wild Rito can be real aggressive, so it's important to take all necessary precautions when approaching them. Get fucked! I'm sorry, but it's just so hot in here. I know, but please stop unbuttoning my shirt. But who can I trust? Yourself? <laughs> no. I like all the other champions. Urbosa, Mifa, Daruk, and Lake. Your family is dead. What? April Fool's Day is actually tomorrow. You're an orphan. Are you collecting donations for the Rito Village Ball? We don't have balls. I have no response to that. I realize that what I really should do is fight fire with fire. And by fire, I mean Link. And by fire, I also mean Link. It occurred to me when I was at the Fire Temple. On fire. Is there anything better than put me? Yes, a really good book. If I had a nickel for every time I wanted to fuck a fish, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. What happened? Why'd you get pulled over? I was trying to keep up with traffic! It was late at night, there was no traffic. That's how far behind I was! <sighs> Sometimes, it's important to take a moment and kink shame yourself. Okay, is the equipment secure? Check. Weapon loaded. Check. Did you have breakfast? What? That's not on the checklist. I added it because I care about you. No, I didn't have breakfast. Unacceptable. Look in your pocket. Hey, there's little chocolate chips in this. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know how to trick you into eating your fiber. Mr. Stark, can we hang out? If by hanging out you mean go save the universe from a powerful Barney the dinosaur, then yes. I was thinking more like laser tag. Where's my fucking knife? Dude, there are kids around. Say it nicer, maybe. <clears throat> May I ascertain the whereabouts of my fucking knife? I have a job for you. Give me a name and I'll give you a corpse. Wade, we talked about this. Hi. This is my son. I will love and protect him. And if any of you touch him, I will not hesitate to kill you. Look, let's just agree to say I'm sorry on the count of three. One, two, three. See, now I'm just disappointed in the both of us. Hey, I bought your soul last month and... No returns. Please, it's making me sad. Don't do anything stupid. You and I both know that's asking way too much of me. And how exactly will you stop me? I'll call May. God damn it. You shall all die. Hey, uh, yeah, I don't think my dad will let me die. Uh, let me ask first, though. Uh, Thanos says... No. Sorry, my dad says no. I do what I want! I'm calling mother. No, wait. Peter? That toy is for ages five and up. Yeah, I'm part of the up. What kind of tea is this? Oh, I boiled some Gatorade. I never doubted you for a second, Peter. Hey, thanks, Mr. Stark. You're lying though, right? Yes, I doubted you very strongly. I'm one of you now. Prettier and different and better, but one of you. Guess what? I have flaws. What are they? Oh, I don't know. I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally, I'll commit first-degree murder. That's all you've got? A cheap trick up your sleeve and a cheesy one-liner? Sweetheart, that could be the name of my autobiography. <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so... Gucci. <clears throat> How did you find me here? Oh, easy. I just listened for the sound of complete and utter portrayal and followed that. I have no use for people. I find them weird and confusing. My friend saw a Ningo take a shirt off and said a Ningo had an eight pack. That a Ningo was shredded. How many people have to die before you start having fun exactly? Who's dead besides everyone I ever loved? My ignorance is becoming a theme. I'm sorry, but you must be at least a level three friend to unlock my tragic backstory. Fire is my only weakness. Yeah, fire is everyone's weakness. It's fucking fire. I wasn't listening, but I strongly disagree with Ines. Okay, does everyone know what they're doing? In general, or the plan? The plan, Krom. Oh, phew. Good God, my descendants are going to be fucked! Like Hector always says, when one door closes, choose a nearby wall and bash it in with brute force! Oh ho ho ho! Summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it! You know, if I were to die right now in some fiery explosion due to the carelessness of a friend, well, that would just be okay.
My lord, what do you want to eat? The souls of the innocent! A bagel. No! Two bagels. Sorry I was late, sir. I had to wipe anime off my car this morning. Uranus takes a pounding more frequently than thought. Some author out there has been waiting their whole life to write that headline. They must have had the most ridiculous sex ever. Most incredible sex ever. We live in a world where pizza gets to your house before the police. That's because the pizza guy has consequences if his job is done incorrectly. Oh, snap! Shots fired! But not by the pizza guy. Oh! Oh, shit! This is one of the worst cases we've ever seen. We've assembled the best team of doctors from around the world to help. Everyone knows this Pib guy didn't get his degree. Pib is here for moral support. Love yourself. Oh my god. L this is too much. Oh my god, my arm's caught on fire! Quick, somebody help before the police arrest me! Why would the police arrest you? Unlawful possession of a firearm! Don't post your negativity on a positive post. <laughs> Electrons. I should kick your ass. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I porn surfed, weak and weary. Over many a strange and superior porn sight of hot chicks galore. When I clicked my favorite bookmark, suddenly there came a warning. And my heart was filled with mourning. Mourning for my dear amour. Tis not possible, I muttered. Give me back my free hardcore. Quoth the server, 404. Found a pair of Ray-Bans in the ocean. Poseidon called, he wants his shades back. I think you mean Brosidon. Brosidon, god of the Brosians. Oh yeah, that's right. Cannibalism. I think you mean Canana Bananalism. What the hell is wrong with you people? Thanks to the power of Tumblr, we now have more anti-jokes. Yay. You know it is dark outside when you go outside and it is dark. Why is Scientology the fastest growing religion of the 21st century? It isn't, it's a cult. Why are black people so good at basketball? Um, dedication and hard work. Why is there no aspirin in the rainforest? Because it wouldn't be financially viable to try and sell pharmaceuticals in the vastly unpopulated rainforest. Duh. Have you seen Stevie Wonder's new house? No? Well, it's really nice. Why didn't the octopus have any friends? Because they're antisocial creatures by nature. So this guy walks into the doctor's and says, Doctor, it hurts when I poke my leg like this. The doctor says, Yes, you've shattered both your kneecaps. You'll never walk again. But he, he walked in. Anyway, a dog walks into a bar and is promptly escorted out, as animals are not allowed. What do you get if you cross the street with a seeing eye dog? A bunch of dumb questions like, Hey, are you blind? And finally, what do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Thank you, Tumblr, for more anti-jokes. Please give me more. Or don't. I don't care. Bye. And now, more shower thoughts by Tumblr. Mint is just cold spicy. Maybe there would be Sour Patch adults if we quit eating all their kids. Adulthood is like a trip to the vet, and we are that dog that was so excited for the car ride until we realized where we were going. Computers can be used to drive cars, while one of the biggest tests to prove that you're not a computer is identifying road signs. If the amount of universes is infinite, one of them has Neil deGrasse Tyson as the head of the Flat Earth Society. An Australian Disney princess would attract some messed up animals. Being asked, why are you depressed? Life is beautiful, is like saying, why do you have asthma? There is so much air. Insulting your debate opponent instead of answering his argument is the intellectual equivalence of flipping the Monopoly board because you know you've lost but can't handle it. The brain has serious self-esteem issues. It can help with pain, intelligence, creativity, anxiety, depression, general well-being, but only if it believes in itself, which it doesn't. Dark matter is a meme made up by physicists to hide the fact that they have no fucking idea how the universe works. We say bless you to sneezes, while we commingling disregard coughing, which is more commonly a sign of illness. WTF has more syllables than what the fuck. The best liar you know is not the best liar you know. And that is More Shower Thoughts by Tumblr.
If Taco Bell thinks they're revolutionary by putting nachos inside of a burrito, then they've never met a drunk person. Where do you think we got the idea? Why are you obsessed with Disney? It's for kids. First of all, bibbity bobbity back the fuck up! The boss hands me a gun. You know what to do. I nod. Outside, I frantically Google, Boss, gun, why? How to kill? Is killing okay? Re-gift gun okay? Most cutting thing you can say is, Who's this clown? Because it implies they're A, a clown, and B, not even one of the better known clowns. Ah, uh, Grandma, can you pick me up from my rap battle? It's over. No, I lost. He saw you drop me off and did a pretty devastating rhyme about it. If you live to be a hundred, you should make up some fake reason why. Just to fuck with people. Like claim you ate a pine cone every single day. Stop telling me your newborn's weight and length! I don't know what to do with that information! Is there anything more capitalist than a peanut with a top hat, cane, and monocle selling you other peanuts to eat? Does it have apples in it? No. What about pie? No pie neither. Perfect! We'll call it a pineapple. I'll bet when Godzilla first came out, God was like, Damn! That name's way cooler! Ready for the week! In that not really sort of way, let's do this! Bartender, I'd like you to bring that brunette at the end of the bar a slice of your finest ham. Some days, you're just the squash Nutri-Grain bar that exists at the bottom of every purse or book bag. You're right. No matter what I look like, I'm still a snack, and people are always grateful when they realize I'm there. Thank you for the inspiration post. I'm still a snack. Mmm! Saying fuck it actually motivates me more than you can do this. That's because there's always a part of your brain that's like, what if I can't do this and you still freeze? But if you say fuck it, you're saying, you know, whatever happens, happens. If it's not perfect, so what? I'm gonna try, and if I fail, then fuck it! So much wisdom and truth. Things to say to bugs when science finally unlocks the secrets of human bug communication. I'm not hurting you, I'm taking you to a safe place. Do you eat weird crumbs? Cause I found some I'm willing to share. You can bite me if you want, but I'd rather be no bite friends. I like your big colorful eyes, very stylish. Please don't crawl into my sleeves. <laughs> Humans are so cute. When we say goodbye, we put our arms around each other, and to show we love someone, we bring them flowers. We say hello by holding each other's hands, and sometimes tiny little dewdrops form in our eyes. For pleasure, we listen to arrangements of sound, press our lips together, smoke dried leaves, get drunk off of old fruit. We're all just little animals, falling in love and having breakfast beneath billions of stars. This is my favorite post. It's actually mine too. My blood is glow stick juice. It's why my bones crack when I move. Explains how you bring light to everything around you, too. <laughs> you kaye, motherfucker. I think freckles, stretch marks, tattoos, bruises, birthmarks, and scars are probably the coolest thing. You started with almost a blank canvas, and look at you now. All this evidence that you've lived and the sun has shone on you, and you've grown and maybe tripped up a few times, and liked an image so much, you made it a permanent part of you. That's beautiful. That's one of the most uplifting things I've read. Adulthood is a scam! I want to be a crow! I'm not even adult and I want to be a crow. A desperation only grows with years. Be the crow you wish to see in the world. Collect shiny things, hop happily down the street for no apparent reason, scream loudly when you see your friends. Why didn't think? Incredibly inspiring addition. Thank you. I swear the pirates would go from shore to shore looking for buried treasure when the real treasure was in the friendships they were making. There be booty to be found, matey. Matey, your booty be the most bountiful. <laughs> matey. Your average pineapple peeled and cut makes about 4.5 cups or 36 ounces of pineapple chunks. Cans of pineapple come in a variety of sizes, the most common being 20 ounces and 46 ounces meaning a single pineapple generally won't fill up a single can perfectly. Which also means every time you eat a pineapple from a can, somewhere someone else has the can that has the rest of that same pineapple. Meaning you can share a single fruit with a stranger from hundreds of miles away. And I think that's beautiful. Yo, if someone calls you Thunder Thighs, you should take it as a compliment because you have been gifted by Thor and he probably thinks you're beautiful. This leg, I like it. <gasps> Another! People who put video tutorials online for literally everything are the backbone of the society. I would be nowhere without the comfort that whenever I don't know how to do something painfully simple, I can look it up. Like, I bet I could look up how to preheat the oven, and there'd be endless videos, and I'd never have to be a complete idiot again. Thank you all for saving my life. 
please, not the horses. Leave them alone. They did nothing wrong. They're the only innocent ones. They don't deserve this. Honestly, this used to upset me a lot as a kid, until my mom, who worked with horses for many years, told me about how they trained the horses in those movies to do things like falling down, kneeling, crawling, or stay laying on the ground after they fall, and how it's so tough to train a prey animal to do these behaviors, and how hard both trainer and horse have to work. So now whenever I see a horse take a hit and go down the movie, I just think, Fucking superb, you funky little horse actor! I like to pretend that my intrusive thoughts are being said to me by a super uptight religious white lady. God hates you because you don't believe in him. Your failures are too great to be forgiven by anyone. Everything you do is wrong and you're going to burn in hell. Thanks for the input, Brenda, but fuck right off. I would just like to say that I love you all for this idea. We're blogging this for a friend. You're a parasite on society at large and your friends in specific. Fuck off, Greg. Oh man, I do this shit every day. My favorite for intrusive anxious thoughts is to pretend Spock's behind you with an answer. Did I lock the door? Captain, you have locked the door every day for over 10 years, and it is very hard for most people to break even subconscious habits, and you most definitely locked the door. I told my new psychiatrist about how I learned this from y'all and his eyes lit up. He didn't smile, but he did nod a whole bunch of times. It was great. Pretend your invasive self editing thoughts are being said to you by a 13-year-old boy on Xbox Live trying to get a rise out of you like, Your girlfriend dumped you because you're ugly. That's nice, Tim. Isn't it past your bedtime? Also, if you have intrusive violent thoughts, pretend they're being sent to you by an annoying backseat driver. Drive into that pole. Thanks, Karen. Or I could not do that. Perfect. You can also pretend that the super paranoid thoughts are being said by that conspiracy theorist in your history class. Maybe they poisoned you. Maybe you should just fuck off, Jeffrey with a G. Wahoo! Hi, everyone! It's-a me, Luigi! Now, I needed to talk about something serious. People are living their lives in a sad, sad way. They don't think they're a number one. They think they're a number one a billion. Oh, no! So if you are reading this... I want you to know that Luigi loves you very much. You are gonna do some great things, you know? You? You, number one. Live a life to the fullest. You're a great friend. Wahoo! I can't believe I'm fucking crying over a goddamn Luigi post. What the fuck? <laughs>